Hello and welcome back to the 2-Minute Drill. My name is Bailey and today we are looking at Purdue wide receiver David Bell. After a couple very productive years in Purdue, Bell declared for the NFL draft and was expected to be a top pick. However, after some abysmal testing where he ran a 4 6 5, 40, he has begun to slide out of the second round. When watching the tape, it's easy to see why people were so excited about Bell in the first place. His ball skills and physicality lead to some spectacular catches and even as the only option on Purdue, Bell managed to produce game after game. He also showed some nice route running traits, being able to create separation downfield and in the intermediate area. He also has some great strength after the catch and has the balance to fight for those extra yards. For all of Bell's strengths, he has some glaring weaknesses as well. He struggles with physicality on his roots, which for someone who projects best as a contested catch receiver on the next level is a bad trait to have. His 4 6 5, 40 also shows up on tape a lot. He does not have the speed to win downfield and doesn't have the greatest acceleration to get up to that speed. To top it all off, Bell does not have the ideal size to be a possession receiver, measuring in at an average 6 foot 1 inch and 212 pounds. For a pro comparison, JJ Arcega Whiteside is who Bell kept reminding me of in terms of playstyle. Both are productive, contested catch receivers who rely on their strength to win against CBs, but struggle with physicality and straight line speed. Arcega Whiteside never managed to break into the Eagles receiving group and is probably going to fizzle out the league soon and I think Bell faces a similar uphill battle. In terms of draft value, I think David Bell might be able to sneak into the third round. Despite the recent failures of many contested catch receivers, we have seen some that have been able to produce in the NFL despite bad testing, like T. Higgins. However, the NFL might see Higgins as an outlier and Bell does not have Higgins smoothness. This may cause Bell to tumble all the way to day 3, where a team who can look past his weaknesses and see the value he has at receiver may get a steal. And that's the 2 minute drill.